Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we have got the time paused. For those of you who have been with me for a little while, you'll know that this means that I have found something that is going to cause us big, big, big troubles. First, a confession, I have run some future simulations. If I look inside the load here, you can see that actually in the LZ Alpha, we've got a whole bunch of like duplicate claves and actually we're only on uh, cycle 690. So what's this 625 about? You know, there's a whole bunch of stuff gone down there. But that is because I know that we're about to come into big troubles. Look at this. Overheat temperature of 275. What's the temperature of the oil right now? 274.7. Oh, okay. So I'm going to start by destroying this to try and save as much steel as possible. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, some steel as possible. And this should then allow this loop to just carry on running. I'm also going to press F6 and I want to get this... Uh, this liquid bridge here to connect up there and I also want to take this liquid bridge if I'm allowed to select it Let's do it from out here I want to destroy this liquid bridge and also this liquid bridge here so that we can start Concentrating solely on this steam turbine. I need to make it to the morning so that we can start uh, Actually working on these things I'm also gonna take off this temperature regulation because I'm just gonna bring this thing down 10 degrees at a time there are other things that I need to do uh, things like trying to get my power into a concentrated format i i don't don't want to be spending it on things like this this over here i'm not about it let's uh, let's just rip it down for now uh, we will put it back together as and when is needed that is like an air filtration system it's sending all the stuff up to here and i would also like to take this one out though this one i need to be a little bit more careful of because there's all sorts of pipes and wires and things going on around here so let's try and do this in a more elegant way Okay, with a few of these bridges taken out, I am now going to go ahead and start putting down some other bridges. Why all I want to do is to try and connect those up like this so that we have a flow just going over this loop here and hopefully keeping this much cooler. I'm put, putting this in because I want these uh, bubbles of petroleum up here to flow down towards me. I'm a little bit worried. Uh, I was about to say that now that I've done that, that we're going to have some more flowing back. I was about to say we've got a broken line, but no, we don't. So I need to break this right here and we'll probably take out all the other pipe at some point so the plan as it stands is just to spend all my time trying my best to cool down this one unit here uh, in my testing it took five cycles to get down cool enough but that was just concentrating on this and obviously I need to go around and do other things making sure the base carries on um, running and improving because well we've got a lot of problems but let's just first notice that our steam temp steam turbine temperature is going up a little bit that is because of course the first petroleum that I dumped in from over here had picked up a whole bunch of uh, a heat from out and about but of course as it powers through its way through here it's going coming in at 150 it's leaving at 140 it uh, appears to actually be coming through at, ah there we go 137 so i'm assuming this first batch here was actually stuff that came in through there it's okay because using the power of you know thermal conductivity all of this is going to get smeared out into the same temperature so the trick now is just to bring this petroleum down as low as possible. I really don't know how long this is going to take. It is going to take quite some time. Uh, I, I, I've just got to, I've just got to let it run. I've just got to let it run, and we'll see what we can do here. Uh, let's have a little bit of a look around the base and see what else it is we need to work on. So I've been talking about this hydrogen up here. Uh, it has, of course, got some water, water geyser next to it as well. So I'm not sure if we can probably make use of both of those at the same time. This really really was my idea for today but spotting how how um how cramped and less room we've got around here oh, it's sorry language suddenly broke on me seeing how much room we don't have around here uh then yeah they're, they're, we've got problems we've got problems <laughs> So I haven't been sat here watching this for about a cycle and a half now. I can say that the one limiting factor is indeed the, the the flow of electricity. The moment this thing stops being able to power itself, the temperature starts to climb back up. But what temperature were we at last time? 150 something. We're now at 109. You can see that it's slowly climbing up because of the conductance from this steam turbine over here. It is uh, making its way over. But as long as we can keep these liquids flowing, uh, they're coming through 
at the moment at 107 from there and flowing back out at 93. This has just been going down, at, you know, a couple of degrees at a time. Oh, the lack of power is really holding us back, though. Uh, as you can see, we have now just climbed back up a few degrees. So we got we got to just we just got to keep this flow going. So the petroleum is currently flowing through at about 87. Unfortunately, it's not getting its own radiant liquid pipe down far enough for that actually to start making a real impact. We're down at 104. That's the lowest temperature I've seen so far. This is good. That means every time we jump into the future, we are actually reducing the temperature somewhat. I think I want to bring this down to about 90 on the steam turbine before I go ahead and toggle this switch and allow it to start flowing. Of course, the whole time we're above 100, nothing would happen if I toggled that switch anyway. Ooh, we got water forming. Oh, I like that. That's that's going to help, right? I think that's going to help. What's the temperature of the water? At uh, over 100 degrees, maybe it's not going to help that much. Oh, no, and the power's die. Oh, that's the first time I've seen the power die in a while. I bet the steam turbine's going to jump back up to like 110, something like that. Uh, we've got until the morning before the duplicates can even do anything like load coal or something like that. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, it's, it's got to be painful, though. This is now warming up all this petrol up to a much higher temperature than the 90 it was going in at, uh, which means we're going to gonna start climbing temperatures again mm, don't like it we've managed to get ourselves a whole bunch of slicks on the go again mostly because the temperatures climbed up too high but now that these guys are here they're eating the hot carbon dioxide fast enough that we're actually managing to keep the temperatures down which means unfortunately uh is this a baby one or something where's the reproduction uh, uh there we go uh you can see that oh we're at a 96 because of the temperature but uh, as the temperature changes so you can see the long-haired ones between 20 and 60 uh uh, yeah, that 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 is kind of a self-leveling system, but it costs us the iron ore to repair all this stuff afterwards. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Quick temperature check. Ah, I told you it'd go up to 110. Well, this is a little awkward. I'm not sure what's caused it. My thermal aqua tuner is saying it's disabled by the automation grid, but it I don't mm, have we melt. Ah. Yeah, look, we got some. Molten lead down there. Ah, oh, that's that's super awkward. That is super awkward. Let's get this iron in here uh, and let's also make it the most important thing on the map because it is legitimately the most important thing on the map. All right, mercy buckets, Monsieur Franck. Uh, okay, let's see what's going on with this. We're coming in at a bit of a higher temperature, but I I don't think that's anything that we can't deal with. We're gonna we're gonna slowly but surely remove that temperature again. And there was like fast gain temperatures, right? So we're we're gonna lose them again fairly quickly. It's not like sunk into the to the background that much. By background, I mean all the other items that are around, like the power wire and the uh, and the gas pipe that we need to get rid of at some point, maybe, or turn back on, one of the two. Oh, well, I've just watched the steam turbine go under 100 degrees, but I am not going to turn it on right now because that could very well end up warming up. The, in fact, it will end up warming the environment, and I, I want to bring the steam turbine temperature down just a little bit more before we uh, turn it on. Ooh. Back up to 107, though. Let's, let's try and keep that down, though. I may end up having to turn it on a little bit sooner than I like. I'm looking at the temperatures around here. This will overload at 325 and we're 290 now. We should be all right for a little while. Oh, the steam turbine went back up again. That is during the period of it going down, but I would like it to stay below 100 degrees through that whole cycle and then I will turn it back on. All right, I'm going to have to do it. Going to have to do it. The temperature is just getting a little too critical. Above! Okay, so we've got some cooling going on over this side. The water will then immediately start to get thrown back out. Uh, and we should hopefully start to see the crude oil and the temperatures down here start to even out. What's the problem? The generator is too hot still. I, I kind of thought that was going to be a problem. Let's turn that back off now. And hopefully we brought it down by a degree or two. Yeah, we kind of did. All right, sweet. Oh no, the power went down, and that means we're now warming back up again. Mmm, oh, we're getting so close to being able to run this permanently. So close. I feel like we're getting to the point now where we're going to be thinking about having this turn on and off on its own. So I think I'd like to come along and wipe out this whole control unit here. This hydrogen vent literally will only work if we can spit hydrogen out. Let's just ignore that whole gas sensor business. It was overcomplicating it, much like a lot of my systems up to here have been. Uh, so I would now like to do that. I would also like to separate this one from this one. And I think we're going to have our own control system up here somewhere. So let's go and throw in some extra wires. Uh, if lead is 
is not good enough. We've done something incredibly wrong, which, you know, we can't rule out. But we're going to do it anyway. We're going to give it a go. That water keep turning up and disappearing. That's that's good. Does it, like, take the temperature away from the steam turbine and then put it in the atmosphere? That might be the case. I don't actually know. Okay, here comes Miss to give us a hand. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm hoping she'll come along and do the actual build as well. Let's get the automation and the thermo sensor out because that is the thing we want to do. Thank you very much. Of course, at this angle, we are pretty much only just measuring the temperature of this wire and pipe up here, but I, I can kind of live with that. Why, why are you going down there, Miss? Please don't open that. It's really important that it all stays together. Oh, no. It's pushing stuff out. It's letting stuff in i'm just yeah there's there's a lot of this that i'm not about right now look at that oh go away mr sour gas okay with that all in place whoa that sprung up pretty quickly below seven and then it's I, I don't think that was right mate but actually what i want to do is below 95 that that should work out all right for us right i'm hoping so oh we didn't deconstruct this not not really that bothered about it to be honest but there we go that should be now fine and keeping this cool producing us some power okay that's not good enough let's take it down to 90 and see if it will work like that of course whilst we're doing all this cooling here we've actually brought this steam turbine over this side down by about 10 degrees i'm not expecting the current setup to be able to uh, to be able to deal with it but i feel like we need more some uh, some more petroleum into the system before we expand out back to these coils over here unfortunately the only petroleum that i have is probably this stuff down here at roughly 300 degrees that means i can't even pour it in here because the pump will start br breaking uh, uh, so yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing about that. Uh, ooh, you there? Okay, let's. Uh, I didn't know that this was a thing. Sweet nine. Yeah, and then we'll let petroleum be dumped here. Petroleum. Let's. Uh, let's get someone on it as quick as possible. And just to be sure, I'm going to lock these doors. Oh no, oh no, he's got to pick it up from here. How did you do that? How did you get this? Uh, how do I d get him to drop the item? I, d I don't know if I can. A hundred and... Ooh, it's still pretty hot. Can we just move you over to here instead? And then maybe you'll uh, you'll do other things. That, that's, a, that's a want, right? Cubic has been selected via the wonders of alert abuse to go and pick up the petroleum. It looks like he's going for the right stuff, so this should work out well for us. I don't know how much he can pick up in any one moment, uh, but down here shouldn't be overly hot for the pumps. Uh, and that's that's it. That's 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 what we wanted. Brilliant. I don't know how much he's going to be putting in there, but we definitely want to get more down and into the pipes. Yeah, 50 degrees. Beautiful. Exactly what we want. Cool. Already it might be a bit much. All right, let's turn this bottle emptier back off now. Legitimately a little bit worried that we're going to have too much. Thankfully, the, um, the bridge should stop it overloading, but it's whether the thermo aqua tuner in here decides that there's too much stuff in the pipe that's what we're gonna have to find out if that is the case then we'll just do the bridge like i was thinking what i'm gonna do is jump it over here first and then jump it back that'll allow us to break down these two pipes here but we might actually be on the right amount well, I'm a little bit worried it's going to lock up. A little bit worried it's going to lock up. No, is it just going to keep flowing? It's just going to keep flowing. All right, beautiful, beautiful. I'd like to see if that carries on being the case the first time that it actually stops, like grinds to a halt, because uh, that, that could definitely be a thing at some point. One of the other things I want to do is I'm not sure that I want to be cooling down this wall, uh, so I'm going to just kind of push that up there, ask for this to get broken down. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to ask for a pipe, uh, a bridge, sorry, soon as the uh, quick save gets me auto save quick save all the same thing uh turn this around and pop that in there this should then allow me to do this and this and if they go in in the order that i've asked them to be done this should allow us to keep a system flowing so as i say I can break these okay they got built in the right order that's good i now need to destroy that one and hopefully this one as well the fact that it's letting uh, petroleum back through is not really the winner uh, i need to destroy those so that i can put other bridges in place like this one actually needs to have a bridge here but we gotta wait we gotta wait 
Okay, it looks like Miss is coming along to do the destruction, so let's get the new plumbing tools out. Uh, so this one goes this way, comes back up, wants to go flowing that way, and then that carries on like that. We'll destroy this bridge here, and then we should have the, the old flow set back up, and hopefully enough petroleum to keep it running. Well, okay, we spilled a little bit of petrol on the floor. I'm going to now immediately start trying to mop all that up, because, oh, that's a little awkward. Uh, if it falls out down here, it might actually work out well. Oh, Miss is going to just get to it straight away. All right, I am about that. Well done. With those bridges in place, I should be able to now deconstruct that and hopefully... All right, beautiful, beautiful. Let's uh, let's look at the flow. Yeah, yeah, this is nice, this is nice. And a little bit of petrol left over to fill up this gap that's going around. It's there somewhere there. It's right here. Look, look at this huge gap. There's another little one there, but that's, that's going to get filled pretty quickly. Okay, next wondrous plan. We are definitely a little bit of water short down below. So I'm going to drop a drop a pipe there. And then using the same pipe network as over here, I'm just going to drag this over and down. Uh, I would probably want to destroy this at the same time. We don't want water into this system after all. We'll think about how to get some more petroleum in there at some point. But I want to drop a whole load of water into here. Uh, just move a little bit across maybe uh, one of those loads again. Um, you know, one of the loads being a full bottle's worth. Uh, just to start filling this bit in a little bit more this uh, this little space underneath because as you can see we've got not even a kilo of steam down here and it'd be nice to push that up a lot so that when these function they have a lot of steam to chunk to uh to chunk through yeah uh, the other crazy plan that i have at some point once we have enough steam in here so i'm really tempted to replace one of these tiles down here with like obsidian or something start letting the heat leach in from down below of course nearly 400 degrees that's that's gonna be a little bit deadly but it would actually start dealing with it after all Okay, as Mad Frank and Miss have already done the deeds of making this nice and safe, I'm going to come on up to here. I'm going to look at this bottle empty here. I'm going to go, hey, can we just have some normal water, please? So water, water. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, highest priority possible. Thanks. Hello, what's been going on over here? Why is this still producing so much water and heat and stuff? I, I actually don't know. It's because it's still trying to cool this down. Look at it, look at it. What temperature is this coming through at? 70, that's still just very high. Uh, let's let's put that at 40 instead and we'll just, we'll just see what happens with it. Oh, look at this place. Bad stuff has happened. Well, either way, I hope that gets sorted out. All right, here comes Shrouds, because I'm going to watch this under the power of the water overlay, and we're going to watch the tiny this bit of water. Uh, okay, let's try with the auto bottle on. Probably could have just dropped this down here, but oh, that would have been a lot of water very quickly. Okay, because we've essentially coupled these two temperature systems together now, we're having to wait for this one to cool down before this one can heat back up. But thankfully, oh, the temperature's only climbing a little bit and we are indeed adding water oh there there it is there's our little bubble of water and hopefully with mad frank coming along to put this down uh, it should mean that the whole whole loop is complete and the water yeah will go down over this way get dumped in down below uh, it's not a lot of water but it's a start let's see who's going to be next mad frank good work sir okay he picked up a significantly more uh, larger amount of water there that was good beautiful all right okay so that should go down about 200 kilograms i saw so over the uh oh what is this oh it turns out we got 10 uh 20 20 uh, tiles there so it's going to be 10 t 10 kilograms per tile yeah beautiful okay let's watch this yeah beautiful ah oh, so much steam getting dropped down into there and it should be bringing the temperature of this crude oil 288 287 yeah nice it's still going to be hot over here but it will just the temperature will even out eventually i'm loving the fact that we've got so much in here that's probably it now we don't want to add any more let's go and turn off the uh, the bottle emptier over here because uh what what what's what's eating all the power now can't be moving the water that's free Whatever that power outage was, it set us back a significant amount on this. Oh, is it happening again? That is not the way, my friend. Um, well, it looks like we uh, still have a lot of work to do here. We can we can keep one cool, but we can't keep two cool. Do I do I have the name for it now? Just gonna quickly upgrade the control battery to iron here. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Hopefully that's gonna get fixed pretty quickly. Mr. Line is already on it. Nice. You can see that I've, uh, I've sealed up this doorway here because uh, we, were, we were having a little trouble with the heat from here spilling out. I'm sure there's other things causing us all untold heats, but uh, that, was, that was definitely the big one. 
The good news is, after hooking up this battery, it's definitely a power po positive process. Nice. <laughs> Unlike this place over here. I mean, it could be power positive. Let's have a look at the available power. How much is it going up by? Actually, it's not doing too bad. It's only got one working, though. Let's have a look at the, the uh, fuel flow here. Hmm... How has it gone up so much? Where is the temperature? Maybe, maybe it is this heavy watt wire. Hang about. Let's try and go this up here and destroy these. Let's try that. I mean, we've we've literally undone everything that was done. This this temperature grate. I am super tempted to roll back a couple of cycles. I I don't even know what's caused this. How? Where where is this 140 degrees come from? I get that we've come over to here, but oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's not even that hot out here. Oh, well, let's turn this back on for a little bit, shall we? It's got hotter. It, how has it got hotter? Oh my god, what? Like, maybe I'd understand if both generators were currently turning over, but, oh, I just... I literally don't understand where the heat is even coming from right now. So I've gone and done myself a quick little cheaty save, if we have a look in here, cheats too, uh, because I just want to scream into the future for a bit. You see how this temperature of the crude oil is raising up here? I am super worried that we are not going to be able to bring this back down to temperature. Uh, and if that's the case, I, uh, I've got to level with you guys. This is taking so long, I might, I might even just go back a save or two and it appears to be all because i included this heavy watt join plate oh it's it's so painful so the temperature is definitely going down here but it's slow work slow work indeed but that does mean that when it happens it's going to be uh deep it's going to be entrenched there uh the temperature is not too scary we've still got some 200 over here somewhere we've definitely got some 300 down here i assume that's this dragging in across here uh that should be fine as long as we can get this down enough oh i mean 128 that's still going pretty well Okay, so the fact that the thermal aqua, aqua tuna is now at 310 and the steam turbine is at only 130, nowhere near. I'm, uh... Ooh, how far do I want to go back? Let's, let's try this one. I don't know, that one? I don't know, maybe this one. Ooh, let's not do that one. Let's do this one instead. Ah, I think we're too far back. Look, this has still got a gap in it. All right, let me start by saying that I don't like anything about what's been going on with the way I've been dealing with this today. But, you know, here we go. We are temporal masters after all. The first thing I'm going to do is come up here. Cycle 628. Uh, by the looks of it, the best cycle to come along and fix this horrific mess that I've got here. If I do liquid pipes and I take out this little 2x2 two two block over here, it will go do exactly what I need. If we have a look at the temperatures in here, we can see that we're about 109 that's fine. It means that these guys are coming out at about 96, 95, something like that. But when these break, there's going to be a whole load of petroleum spill on the floor. But one thing I really don't want to happen is for anything to come into here. All right, let's let that run through. Wait, no. There's two things I want to do. First, I want to do that. And then I also want to do... Yep, there we go. Let's do it. We are going to be going at full red alert. We need to get this fixed and we need to have it fixed right now. Who is going to come along and do the most business for us? Okay, so we've got a forest down here. That's good. That's good. Oh, Mimi has also reached ahead there. Wonderful. Loving it. and am definitely about it. The next thing I want to do, of course, is to mop up this mess that's not going to get dropped. Wow, okay, we'll then like turn that red alert off and I think actually we might have just about managed to avoid disaster there, especially without all the uh, petroleum getting spilled. I was expecting to have hot liquids everywhere that we we're going to have to like try and mop up because it would have been horrific, but it looks like we managed to snip off exactly the gap in the in the liquids. No. No. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe my luck's going with me now. Like, that is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to make sure that water goes into place. Oh, in fact, it has already done and done that for us. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. This falls into place. I think we will, uh, we'll have actually finished. Okay, typically the problem we have now is one of 
power. Every time the liquid stands still for too long, it starts soaking up just a little bit too much liquid, uh, too much heat, sorry. And if it'll pick up like more of the 116, then that will get smeared out across and that all the other balls will have just a little bit more work to do. But it looks like actually it's going down pretty well. We're down at 92, 91. Okay, this is cool. We're just waiting for this uh, this set of signals at the top here to actually start to fill that as well and then we should be but perfect yeah it's coming through at 105 but we're coming out of the bottom at 91 oh, it's dropping all the time beautiful beautiful should have should have stopped and thought about it at this point earlier you know, the more I watch this, the more I'm left confident about my prediction there uh, we appear to be climbing back up again Oh, how have we climbed back up to 100? No, it's now coming back down. I'm not sure what's going on with these temperatures here. I just know I don't really like it. <laughs> mm, there's a non-zero chance that we're going back to cycle 628. All right, we're going to scrap the whole idea. We're just going to have to wait for it to get chill enough by convection, it looks like. This is just coming out at ridiculous temperatures. The thing is, this was only at 117 when we started. Where's it getting the extra heat from? I just, um, like Obviously, possibly through the door and through this, but I don't know how to go about dealing with that other than maybe... I don't know, make some sort of um, vacuum chamber here. That that might work. And then we can, like, totally seal this off and then do the something similar here. Oh. I've sat here and watched it for a little bit longer. And as long as it keeps flowing, the temperature definitely goes in the right direction. But it's that keeping flowing business. It just doesn't do it. Like, where is this gaining all its heat from? It keeps going down and up, down and up. I just don't know. Welcome back to cycle 628. Did I mention that I don't like this? All right, let's have a look and see what we can do about it. Obviously, we're going to have to do this in the very lame, lame, lame way of taking out this bridge and just not doing the thing that I was thinking about. Does it need to be top priority? It needs to be top priority, but I don't think it needs to be red alert. All right, let's let that run like that and see what happens. All right, that that was that. Uh, nice and easy. Let's uh, let them through here again so they can get rid of this petroleum for me. I just need to clear all those items down below there, and then we should be able uh, to, to, to see if this will chill this down. I really hope so. Okay, we got this little bit of petroleum extra. Uh, I think that'll be all right for the moment, at least until we clear everything out and we can start uh, start emptying it all. Well, at least now we're at the point where we're cooling down the steam and thus the oil and thus the thermo aquatuna underneath. And hopefully we can bring this down to the temperature where we can start thinking about cooling that one down. Because that, that would be nice, right? That, that really is what we're trying to do, is run both of these at the same time to counteract the, uh, the power drain of this. This is like 1,200 watts as opposed to the 17 that we could get out of that. But the 850 is not enough to cover it on its own. As you can see here, I mean, this will carry on turning over. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of latent heat in here, but uh, it would be nice if we could keep this run. Well, actually, I don't know how long we want to keep this running because at some point, yeah, that's going to get so cold that we're going to have to turn it off. What are we going to do about that? Because obviously we want to keep the cooling going. Uh, we need to get one of these bypasses, but on this side, I've got a feeling I'm going to have to rework the pipes down here. And that, that fills me with a little bit of dread. Well, it's kind of annoying that this is now continuing to drop temperature just a little bit too far. What happens if I go to build another one of these? Uh, you know this is going to end up in disaster, but halfway through cycle 269. Maybe I should wait till the morning. <laughs> but no, we can just rip this liquid bridge down if need be. In fact, all I wanted to do is go through... Let's cancel these ones. Go through this little heat sensor up here. Let's see if, like, just this... This is the loop that we want to keep running. Let's see if it can handle that or not. I mean, we could always rip this bridge down and it'll be back, be back to where we were. So let's, let's give that a go, shall we? Thankfully, uh, things got done in the right order. This pipe got ripped down before the bridge got put in place. And now, at some point, we might even be letting that petroleum free. Uh, but now the temperature is coming through a little bit warmer. We'll see how much warmer it is compared. So let's have a look. This is 70s and then suddenly 80s. All right, we'll, we'll see how this runs. I wonder why it's chunk, chunk. What's going on there? Pipe blocks. Oh, how do we let that go through? Let's do something like just hold it for a second. Let the let the liquids flow. Ah ha 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 ha! I see what the problem is. I 
don't really know how to fix it without causing a mess. So we're going to have to just cause a mess. Of course that was going to happen. Why didn't I think about that? Um, because I'm a bit of a fool sometimes. So there's a mod that enables me to like do things like snip this. Um, how do you guys feel about that being installed? It's just something that enables you to split pipes or wires or stuff that are close together like this. Save me having to call a duplicate in to break it and then put it back together. As opposed to just breaking that bit there. I don't know. Let, let me know how you guys feel about that. Because obviously I'd, I'd, I'd like to use it. But I don't feel like mods are really called for in a game that I started as survival. Or at least I could see why people would say that let me know what you guys think though okay so now that i've mucked around with that enough let's see what's coming down through here we've got some some hot temperatures up here but i was expecting that oh have we let some petroleum free of course we let some petroleum free that's all right we'll mop that up though Okay, so our baseline seems to be 84. I saw some ooh, some high temperatures go through there, but we're going to let it do a few cycles and see if it uh, spikes up again. I'd like to see some 70s uh, by the end of the night. That that would be great, that high number there. Was that as high as it was? Uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait and find out. I, I feel like we're probably actually in trouble here, right? Well, I was kind of hoping just passing through the one would be enough to uh, help us keep it cool. But these temperatures are, are just climbing, just, just climbing. So it looks like we're going to have to try and take that bridge out and uh, return it to the state we're in. I really thought just going through one or two tiles wouldn't pick up too much heat. Uh, but it turns out, yeah, actually, that really does pick up a lot of heat. Thankfully, it's not a, not a, a total reload of the game moment. <laughs> It's still coming through at a high temperature, but we all know that it is going to start crashing down soon enough. So we need to think about how we're going to go about regulating the cold in here. Okay, so we desperately need to put some sort of cold system in here. So I'm going to pull off from... Am I not allowed to build it here? I'm going to pull off from here. Of course, super high uh, alert mode is the way forward. So I'm going to, of course, change that in a second. But I just realized people cannot get in here. Okay, so like that. Uh, from there, we're definitely going to want to have maybe in the plumbing a liquid pipe thermo sensor. We need to know what temperature that is. I've really got to turn this off. There we go. All right, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. From there, we want to go into a... Uh, where is it? It's in the plumbing. It's in the liquid shutoff. We want to go for a steel one of these. Hopefully, the fact that it is right here means that it is cool enough to be dealt with. The cold water should be dropping down right on top of this. In fact, do we want to uh, turn it around and point it down? We might very well want to, actually. Let's go ahead and do that so the way i'm going to do this if hot go down if not uh keep moving uh and we will then take it up across and drop it in a pipe uh like that and that that should be a good good bypass right hopefully <laughs> oh one one bit we're missing this here and then eventually this should be like hey i can't take anything out of here and we can destroy that one uh there we, we would do better probably to have a bridge coming off and then that would preferentially take stuff but I'm, I'm willing to just try and lose a bit i think i think that will work out probably shouldn't have built this out of lead oh no it's already overheating uh, i thought we were going to bring down the temperature enough where what are we at now why isn't this cooling down enough 282 what does it need 275 all right all right we got we're gonna have to destroy it straight away unfortunately and try and figure out how to get this in after the fact we'll have to kind of manage it manually uh, until we can get the flow going properly which means i need to stop making this pipe until the liquid comes down to about 250 we should be trying to aim for 200 i'm not sure if we'll ever get down to 200 though well, if we set this to wait till, uh, I don't know, 60, and then we've got a much, much more, um, much more distance to the overheat temperature, yeah, until it turns back off. Now that I've started panicking about this whole temperature regulation system, I'm, uh, I'm watching this temperature, I'm wondering whether actually this will end, end up being its own moderation, because it will turn on, it will start producing heat, it will warm back up, uh, and then warm, thus warm up the liquids in there. I, th I think that might be the case of how it goes down that would be pretty cool that would be pretty cool indeed in fact i'd like to bring it down to a lower temperature if that's the case so that we can start i don't know maybe influencing this one next to it just by sheer cold bulk 
Well, we were crashing down towards 60 and then someone came along and picked up some iron from in here and the temperature just spiked back up to like 75. Did quite well though, did quite well. Look at that, yeah, there are definitely some, uh, some nodes in here that are more spicy than others. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this up to 70 and let's just go with that. Mainly because I want to start cooling this steam back down. So we've got a buffer gate running for 10 seconds in there. Uh, sorry, 5 seconds. I was thinking 10, but it installed with 5 by default. So I'm going to just let that run for the moment. That should enable this to carry on running for a little while, bringing the temperature down enough, but hopefully not making it too much, uh, too hot in the liquid back there. Uh, yeah, no, no, it looks to be like we're doing okay. And of course, this is so they remain at a relatively efficient burn rate for as uh, long as it can. Okay, one last task before I call it for the day. I'm going to put down another one of these heavy watt join plates over this side. I'm going to make a nice little unit out here that we're going to try and keep cool. We might even do things like this. Look, I'm going to, I'm going to drop this down here. This is going to be for later. I'm going to make a mass destruction unit over here because I want to get rid of all this uh, sour gas down here at some point. But it does mean that I could start thinking about where other things are going to go. Let's move this across here like this and then we'll have that down like that. Okay, yeah, that works works out for me. We might end up taking this last door out and using this door as part of the system. Yeah, maybe we will. Maybe we will. That means we'd give this a different uh, different automation loop. But that is very easy to do looking at how it's set up. Okay, with the power loop back, that then means I can deconstruct this one over here. Beautiful, beautiful. My main plan is actually to knock this into a vacuum underneath here. That, that should be nice and easy to to keep turning. Maybe we'll even have a little airlock system underneath. I'm not sure about that. We're just going to build the minimum viable product at the moment, which is a really nice way of describing my base, actually. Okay, as much as it pains me to do it, these things were only ever meant to be temporary. Let's try and get rid of all of this uh, crushing system in here. It's done quite well changing the atmosphere out here. It's still hella hot, but we've got just the merest wisp of hydrogen rather than, you know, hundreds of kilos of uh, steam. So now the plan becomes clear. I've got a gas pump in here. I'm not hooking it up to any automation. It is just going to keep on running. It's going to send its gas up and out to this uh, waste line that we have running over here. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Literally just takes it up to the sorting system. Let me double check that I've got that right. Yes, very much is the waste gas. And it should carry on pulling a vacuum inside this chamber as soon as everything gets laid out properly. And hopefully keeps a thermal seal between this this heavy watt join plate and this heavy watt join plate enable us to bring down the temperature of this entire area that's the theory i've noticed that i've got a little bit of a problem here here and here so that should then get worked up but with that i am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen it has been a long long temporal nightmare of a mess trying to get this running but eventually we've actually got a system that will turn over and cool down down this steam not quite as fast as i would like but that's why we're building that vacuum chamber out the front so that we can hopefully try and speed up that entire process but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye